Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And look at this tangle by Jenny Lee. It is so much fun and easy. And she calls it Sea Wave. And I've done it on a black tile. I think it has kind of a seaweed look to it. I've added a few uh, orbs and uh, did it on black with blue. This one on a white with, um, on black with a white jelly roll. I'm gonna do it on a round tile. So we'll come in a little bit on this so you can see. And I'm do using my little project pack um, that you can buy the kit. It has a blue PN pen, a uh, Prisma blue color denim blue pencil, and a shading stump in in the uh, kit. So I'm gonna just do this one with a with a blue PN pen, and then we'll color it and shade it with blue. So I'm just I'm not going to put I'm just gonna do fill from edge to edge on this. So I'm just gonna go from the edge, and I'm just going to do a wavy line, and I could do another wavy line. And then I do one that touches both sides. So it comes down and touches both sides. And then we're just going to aura, I should echo this shape. From that little center point, coming up to the very edge of my tile, right off the edge. Now I'm gonna do the same here I'm gonna echo that shape, then come right down into that point. So start right up there and then fan out, echo, then come right down into that point. So they blend together. You're gonna have a buildup of ink. It's gonna blend right in. And we just do this shape. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna fan out just a little bit. So it's kind of a takeoff and land. So I kind of lift my pin just a little bit and it builds up that color along there. And you really never know what you're going to get until it's finished. Sometimes I will do one side, then I come back and do the other side so I get just that little, just a different little wave in my drawing. Make sure I come all the way from the top and go all the way down because I want that buildup of ink. Here we're gonna come right off the edge And we've got just a little one here. Now we're just going to add another line, a wavy line, and then our line that goes back and forth to each side. And we're going to repeat that process. I love this um, uh, tangle that Jenny Lee has done because it is the true nature of Zentangle. Three strokes of the pen or less. But you can see how this is just building into a beautiful, very satisfying. You can start right here and do your wavy line and meet and then put that one that goes from each side over so you get a little different look. I forgot that one right there, but I'm just going to keep going until I feel like I have, and I'm gonna come back in and meet 
just because I I like that how it how the point kind of meets together and I like the fact that I don't know what I really don't know the size it's going to be or if it's going to blend in to the other tangle or if it's going to stand out as another wave going another direction. I think part of Zentangle is the unknown that you don't know what you're going to get when you start. I think that's the satisfying part of Zentangle for me is the unknown. But you can see that this is going to be beautiful. We, uh, I shaded this with a little white on the black one. Excuse me. Um, I just used a little chalk pencil. And here I shaded with blue. Here I'm going to come back in. And um, I'm going to take my um, regular color pencil. And anywhere where there is a thick buildup of ink, I'm going to just just darken it a little bit more with my color pencil. Just going to put a little tiny bit more and then I'm going to get my shading stump out and for those who have not seen me do this um, I blend my color pencils with odorless paint thinner. And this is a little pot with a sponge in it and I added odorless paint thinner it's so I can carry it in my pouch and not spill it. So now I'm just moistening the tip of my um, blending stump with the odorless paint thinner. And then I'm going to just draw that blue out from that point up in to my drawing a little bit more. Just pull it up in and blend it. That very dark is down in that tip and then it just gets lighter. It just blends so easy. I've done this with watercolor pencils also using odorless paint thinner. But I have a um, plethora or many, many color pencils. And I find that it works for most any of my colored pencils, I can use the odorless paint thinner. But you can see how that just blended that out. I love the, how it blended out. I'm gonna just use the tip and give my edge a little bit more color since I didn't put a border on there. And I'll go back and add more, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to blend with your shading stump and odorless paint thinner. And these are available on my website, but you can make them by just putting a little bit of a sponge in a jar so it seals up and um, a little bit of odorless paint thinner and it goes a long way. So thanks again for watching. I will probably go ahead and work on this one a little bit more. And then I'll come back and fill those in and just see. I never know what's going to happen. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and so that you don't miss a single video. I post on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And share it with your friends. The best, best, best thing about Zentangle is sharing it. Teach someone else the joy of Zentangle. And um, go to... Um, Zentangle.com or to my website Inkadoodles.com and there you'll find lots and lots of ideas. Thanks again and have a great day and tangle every day.